Game Ranks presents another episode of Before You Buy, the show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our thoughts on the latest games releasing. I'm Jake Baldino, and today we're talking about a big one, folks. We're talking about Horizon Zero Dawn. This PS4 exclusive game has a lot of hype, and it turns out, yeah, it's really good. Well, it borrows heavily from a lot of other games in some aspects, and that may bother or even bore some people. The way Horizon Zero Dawn really is different makes sticking around for it mostly worth it. Listen to me though, you guys know how these videos work, I give pros and cons, and honestly, it's gonna sound like I have a lot of complaints, but ultimately I very much enjoyed my time here. There's just a few aspects that I'm a little mixed on. First things first, the story without, I promise, not getting into too much spoiler territory, it's probably one of Zero Dawn's best assets. The story and the world building in general was honestly not at all what I expected. While it still feels very much like a gamey story, this is an ambitious, vast tale intent, first and foremost on creating like this entire world universe that takes place after the fall of civilization, complete with regions, clans, cities, kings, warriors, religions, everything. And that just genuinely surprised me because here I was thinking it was just some post-apocalyptic dinosaur hunting game. Aloy as a character is mostly really cool. She's absolutely a badass, but like the story itself, is mostly too serious despite her being one of the more lighter characters. Oftentimes though, I just feel like she feels a bit bland, but she is well voice acted. In fact, most of the characters here are kind of bland, especially side quest givers. But I definitely enjoyed Aloy most as a vessel in a coming of age story. You know, her leaving her little nest of an area out into the bigger, more ambitious world that Guerrilla Games set out to make. And it is a big world and a long story with some side quests, exploration, and the story. Everything here should take you roughly 30 hours. Like I said though, it still often feels like a video game story. The flaws are there, but it's well paced. It'll keep you guessing. And it does ultimately what I kind of want, you know, to push you to keep playing through to see what happens next. That's no easy task and I'm gonna commend them for that. In terms of gameplay, this is where I think it'll make or break it for some people. Horizon Zero Dawn is an open world game with elements of Ubisoft collection and forts to capture and towers to climb, you know, that you've seen in every Assassin's Creed and Far Cry game, as well as hiding in bushes and stealth killing unsuspecting enemies and exploring a world filled with side quests, hub cities, and merchants. The best way to describe Zero Dawn is to compare it to other games, whether you like it or not. The moment to moment simple stealth and trap laying feels a lot like modern Tomb Raider. You spend a lot of time hiding in bushes and creeping around in tall grass and picking off enemies one by one. It's familiar, but it's fun and it works well. Living off the land, hunting and crafting feels a lot like a really, really good Far Cry Primal. Yeah, did you forget about that game already? That's the name of the game here. You're constantly gathering and crafting, but it doesn't manage to feel insufferable despite your bag always filling up. The crafting and ammo systems are simple, effective, and it just exists as a gameplay element, not a weird hindrance or a big deal. The actual hunting of mechanical animals is honestly some of the best stuff here. Using your focus scan to plot out weak points and set traps and then launch the offensive is really fun, especially because it can get really difficult at times when some enemies can cream you in one hit. Yes, you will get one or two shot at a lot in this game. Even though the health system is really forgiving, you can get your ass beat still. Even though you're getting pummeled and killed by them, it, it's totally worth it because the, the creature and enemy designs here are very, very slick, very creative, and, and that's honestly what I like most about the game is discovering these new creatures for the first time and figuring out how to take them down. That's where Horizon is the most fun. Some of the bigger creature fights and some of the boss battles turn out to be quite a bit of a grind, which some people may not really be a fan of, but I had fun with them. But Horizon is of course very much an open-ended game in those regards. Everything about playing Horizon from a gameplay perspective frankly feels really familiar and not always the most exciting, if I'm honest. It's discovering new areas and seeing them for the first time that makes it worth traipsing across this huge open land. The map is huge. This is where the game reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus or even a bit of some elements of Zelda. While the main quests and encounters and level designs are designed very well and, and tend to be a ton of fun and challenging to play through. The side quests are where the game sometimes loses me. The open world is, is totally huge. It's, it's massive and it's filled with quest givers, almost like The Witcher 3. But unlike The Witcher 3, I found most side quests to be repetitive and not very much memorable, save for a few here and there. The progression and loot systems work fine and well enough, but they weren't really deep enough to compel me to give a damn about many of the side quests. But thankfully, on the flip side, there are secret dungeons called cauldrons, which are a bit like 
like the little hidden dungeons in Assassin's Creed 2, and they are crazy fun. There's also these very difficult hunter trials if you want to extend the hours and challenge, and really kind of push the limits of the hunting gameplay and how much trap laying and preparation you can really do, and those are definitely cool. I recommend those. If that sounds like a lot of things with the game that don't work very well, honestly though, seriously, it's the coolness of the world and the creatures that really holds everything together like a fragile glue. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? In terms of visuals, now look, I gotta say first, of course, I am a PC player, so yes, there is a lot of scrutiny that I come with, but I gotta say, Horizon Zero Dawn is easily one of the better looking console games right up there with Uncharted 4 in terms of competition for just detail and how well everything looks. Meshing graphical prowess with the art design. In Horizon Zero Dawn, there's always a beautiful scenery. There's always lush green forests and vegetation that are always moving and flapping in the breeze. There's always a sunlight glowing on something and a shadow being cast. And in motion, it looks absolutely amazing and I didn't experience any slowdown at all. I was playing it on a PS4 Pro. And also it's worth mentioning that Horizon Zero Dawn probably has some of the best draw distances on a console game I've ever seen. While graphically the game looks amazing, the music, the voice acting, and the presentation here are, are very top-notch. Of course, you can tell this is a big budget, high quality game, and that stuff usually comes with it. But a lot of the sound design, the sound of the creatures, and the music isn't something that you're just gonna forget overnight. It's just a very strong package in that regard, and if you're the type of person that likes to show off your shiny new console to someone, this is probably the newest game that you're gonna wanna do it with. Horizon Zero Dawn is definitely at its best when you're discovering new creatures and stumbling across new lands and just basically putting to pieces together of what happened to this society that ultimately collapsed centuries ago. That is where the game is absolutely at its best because sometimes it can feel just like a regular traditional open world game, but the story, setting, atmosphere, and combat really just make it feel different and special, and I think most of you guys are gonna find a lot to love here. If you like a good open world action RPG game, I can definitely recommend Horizon Zero Dawn if you have a PlayStation. It's unfortunate, of course, that this isn't on a PC because I would love to see what the hell that would look like, but I guess that's just a whole nother story. But you guys know how before you guys work, I gave you some pros, some cons, and some personal opinion thrown in there. So now I wanna hear yours down in the comments. At the time of releasing this video, Horizon Zero Dawn isn't out yet, but I do wanna know your expectations going in. Cause I've had people tweet me about this game saying they think it's going to be the best game ever. They're Sony fanboys. And I've had other people telling me that they think it's gonna be a trash garbage game. I am pleased to report that Horizon Zero Dawn is definitely not a trash garbage game, but I do wanna hear what you think about it down in the comments below. If you have any questions at all, I'm gonna answer as much as I can down in the comments, but I'll also be talking about the game on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jake Baldino as well. You should go ask me over there too. You guys know the deal. Thanks so much for watching the Before You Buy videos. They're our favorite to do. Clicking that like button helps us out a ton, but if you're new, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.